Good morning, my dear students. I am Mohammad Nazrul Islam, assistant teacher, Kadipur Kalnagar High School, Pursha Noga. For COVID-19, you are disconnected with us for a long time. So I would like to take a class today, an online class, and you are asked to observe my class at any choiceable time and if you fail to understand anything you will ask me writing comment in the comment box because after taking the class i would like to share it on my page as well as my facebook id so you are asked to uh, practice uh, the activities which are given by me now let's start our class about that question first we should know what is that question that question is a kind of question which uh, is added at the end of any kind of statement to confirm or to know whether the statement is right or wrong. My dear students, uh, please uh, look at the screen. Uh, all the sentences for adding the questions are divided into seven categories. You will write them in your exercise book. Number one, sentence starting with sentence starting with let us or let's. Number two, sentence started with let him have him have left for any kind of name, such as Rohim Kolebina extra. Number three, Sentence started with every or some. Number four, sentence started with no. Number five, sentence started with please, kindly or ha. And number six. Sentence with popular verb. With popular verb. And last of all, number seven. Sentence with main verb. Uh, all kind of sentences are included in these seven kind of sentences. So, if we know the rules, uh, of these seven kinds of sentences, we easily use that question after any kind of sentences. Number one, sentence started with let us or let's. That question will be shall we or shall we. And you have to use Question mark at the end of the, the question mark. Number two sentence started with let be, let her, let them, or any kind of name. The question will be with you or on you. Number three sentence started with every or some. That question will be don't, they, 
or didn't they? Depending on the tense. If the sentence is present tense, then we will uh, write not they. And if the sentence is past tense, uh, we will add did not they. Then number four. Sentence started with no. The question will be do they or did they? Do they or did they? In the same case, if the sentence is present tense, we will add do they, and if the sentence is past form, we will use did they. Next, number five, sentence started with please, kindly, or any kind of uh, main verb. These sentences are called imperative sentences. For this case, the question will be will you or on you. Number six, sentence with auxiliary verb. We know what are auxiliary verbs. Am, is, are, was, were, have, has, had. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, need, and dare. There are uh, so many modal auxiliaries, but only these modal auxiliaries you should know. Sentence with auxiliary verb. If the statement is with auxiliary verb, uh, we will add auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, plus not in short form plus subject pronoun of subject pronoun of subject pronoun of uh, subject here I will identify short form of not for number 6 and 7 you should remember that if the statement is positive, that question must be negative, and if the statement is negative, that question must be affirmative. For this case, uh, first we will write auxiliary verb, then if the sentence is affirmative, we will add uh, short form of non and then pronoun of subject. And if the sentence is negative, uh, we should not use short form of not, only of the verb, then pronoun of the subject. Then we should know some pronoun. If uh, the word is masculine gender, if the subject is masculine gender, we will use he. And if the subject is feminine gender, we will use she. And if the subject is plural form, we will use they uh, and there are some subjects which are not masculine, not feminine. They are called neuter gender. Suppose the scar is a neuter gender, so or for this case we will use pronoun not he or she. We will use pronoun it. The art we will use pronoun it. But there are some neuter gender which are meaning feminine gender, such as Bangladesh, the Padda, the Magna, the Jamuna, the Sun, the Moon, etc. The Sun is masculine gender and the Moon is feminine gender. For this case, we can use pronoun she or it. Both are correct. You should remember if the neuter gender, we should not think a lot. We will use it for all kind of neuter gender in the singular form. But plural form, they. I will uh, example next. Then it will be very clear to you. Another one, number seven. Sentence with main verb. The that question will be don't or doesn't or didn't. 
प्लस इन द सेम केस प्रोनाउन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इफ द सेंटेंस इज प्रेजेंट फॉर्म एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर नंबर ओनली देयर वी विल यूज द नॉट एंड इफ द सेंटेंस इज प्रेजेंट फॉर्म एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल फॉर्म और फर्स्ट पर्सन और सेकंड पर्सन वी विल यूज डोंट एंड इन द पास्ट फॉर्म वी विल यूज डिड नॉट देन प्रोनाउन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट आई वुड लाइक टू गिव एग्जांपल ऑफ एवरी सेंटेंसेस नंबर 1 सेंटेंस स्टार्टेड विद लेट अस और लेट्स एग्जांपल लेट अस गो आउट लेट अस गो आउट व्हाट विल बी द टेक क्वेश्चन शैल वी और शैन वी बोथ आर करेक्ट आंसर शैल वी और शैन वी बोथ आर करेक्ट आंसर देन नंबर 2 Sentence started with let him have them or any kind of name. Rohim, Korim, Mina, etc. In this case, uh, the next question will be will you or on it? I would like to give an example. Let him go. The question will be will you or on it? Both are correct. Both are correct answer. Then number three. Sentence started with a verb of some. I would like to give an example. Everybody likes him. The question will be do they or did they? But for this case, this sentence is present form. So the appropriate answer is don't they don't they. But uh, if the sentence is past form like then the answer will be didn't they. Then number four. Sentence started with no, nobody, no man, no student like that. I would like to give an example. Nobody hates him. What will be the next question? We know if the statement is started with no, the next question will be do they or did they? For this case, nobody hates. This is present form. So. Today is the correct answer. And if the sentence or statement is past form, hated, hated. For this case, the appropriate answer will be did they. Next number five. Uh, sentence started with please, kindly, or bhav. These sentences are. Imperative sentence. For this case, we know that the next question will be will you or won't you. Both are correct answer. I like to give an example. Stand up. Stand up. Mark one. Open your book. Close your book. Go home. Do the work. Like that. The next question will be will you or won't you. Both are correct. Answer. Will you or won't you? Please give me a pen. The sentence started with please. This is also imperative sentence. So the answer will be same. Will you or won't you? Both are correct answer. Then number six and seven left, and I will discuss in. Uh, clearly, please stay with me and observe it. Number six, sentence with auxiliary verb. I have uh, discussed about auxiliary verb. Which are auxiliary verb? Can be the, was, were, have, was, had, can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, must, need, there. 
like that. That if there is any opponent R, uh, I would like to give an example. He is a boy. Here is an auxiliary bar. So, the question will be is then short form of not. Is is then pronoun of the subject, he is a pronoun, so he will be used here. Is not he. Then they can't do it. What will be the question? Here, what will I do? Can't. Can't. And uh, I have discussed uh, for the number 6 and 7. The, if the statement is affirmative, the question will be negative. And if the statement is negative, the question will be affirmative. For this case, the statement is negative. So, the question will be affirmative. So, not will not be used can they. Then, the, sorry, they, they are present. What will be the question? They are popular for are. And this statement is affirmative, so the question will be negative. So we will use short form of not here and there. This is the answer of this sentence. Then, last of all, sentence with main verb or principal verb. Sentence with main verb or principal verb. Suppose I would like to give an example. He goes to school. He goes to school. Goes is a main verb or principal verb. So, what will be the type question? Don't, does, not did. The statement is present verb. So, don't, not, does. And the subject is third person singular. So, does will be used here. And if you look carefully, you will got uh, the idea very clearly. Goes is with S form. So we will use dal. Dal G. Dal G. But if the sentence is I go to school, then what will be the answer? I go to school. This is also present form, but uh, here S form is not added and the subject is first person. So do. Don't. Don't I will be the correct answer. Then, the cow gives us milk. This statement of sentence is also main bar or principal bar. Then, we will use don't ask for then plus pronoun of subject. Gives is a spot of the bar. It is a spot of the bar. So, down. And the pronoun of the subject. Here the cow is a pronoun and the cow is a subject and the pronoun of the word the cow. We know the cow is feminine gender, so we can use she. And uh, we, if, you, if we use it, it will be also the correct answer. Down she or down it. Both are correct. Because this the cow is a lawyer anyway. Then this hand moves round the the act moves round the this hand gives us light, sorry. This hand gives us light. Here gives with this part and with this part. So, down, down. And the pronoun of the thumb is he or it. The thumb is masculine gender. 
and um, the moon is feminine gender. So, uh, for the sun, the pronoun will be he. Or, uh, this is a neutral gender, we can use it. Both are correct, doesn't he or doesn't it. Then, Doesn't go to school. For this sentence, this statement is negative. So that question must be avoided. Here, auxiliary verb does. And this statement is negative, so that question must be avoided. Made it so third form of not will not be used. Does he? This is the correct answer. For number 6 and 7, the statement is uh, affirmative, that question must be negative. Or if the statement is negative, that question must be affirmative. For this case, there are some negative words we don't know. Uh, perhaps uh, some of you know and some of you don't know what are negative words. Only not is not a negative word. There are a lot of words which mean negative form. Not, no, never. It is very, very strong of negative form. Now, seldom, scarcely. I would like to give an example. He seldom comes here. Look at this sentence. He seldom comes here. This sentence is with main verb or principal verb. So, that question uh, will be done, down or then. Here is a form and the sentence is present form. So, does will be here. But not will not be used because seldom is a negative word. Does he? It is the correct answer. In this way, if this negative word are included in any statement, not will not be used. Then I have given you some uh, question. You will try to solve it in your home and if you feel any kind of problem you will comment in the Facebook I will try my level best to solve you you will practice them let us let's go out number two nobody comes number three Please help. Please help me. Number four. Let me go. Number five. Every body was present. Everybody was present. Number six. Sit down. Sit down. Number uh, seven. The Pada is a big river. Is a big river. Here I like to mention Pada is a river and uh, this is neutral gender but uh, its meaning is uh, feminine gender. So, you should use she or it. Both will be the correct answer. And uh, there are only three divas in the world which are uh, masculine gender. Oktako, this is masculine gender. Brahmaputra, 
masculine gender and need not. These three rivers are masculine gender, otherwise all of the rivers, the Pata, the Nagana, the Jamuna, all these are feminine gender. So you should use uh, the pronoun of any uh, kind of river, she or it. Both will be the correct. Then number eight, Mina was not present. Mina was not present. Number nine, the headmaster and secretary is the headmaster and secretary is coming. Is coming. And last of all, number ten. Number ten, Pauline spent, spent time lavishly, lavishly. You will practice this ten sentence in uh, your home, and if you feel any kind of problem, you uh, can comment in the. Comment box in the Facebook and I try my level best to help you. Uh, then, and, uh, last of all, my advice to you always stay at home and keep yourself safe and save your near and dear person and follow the rules of health and sanitation. And I hope uh, you will. Come back in the classroom very soon without any kind of problem. Thank you all.